It seems that any laptop in 2023 is now available with discrete graphics, thanks to NVIDIA making its 40 series offerings go as low as 40 watts of power. But what would happen if you put a 14-core Intel Core i9 CPU and an RTX 4070 inside an 18mm thick chassis? Let's find out together. Dell struck gold with the redesign of the XPS and Precision laptops. As since 2020, the laptops have looked phenomenal, to the point where even in 2023, the XPS 15 looks modern. It uses a mix of aluminum and carbon fiber, which keeps the laptop thin. We mentioned the 18mm profile, but the weight is impressive too. At 1.92 kilograms for the models with an IPS panel and 1.96 kilograms for the models with an OLED panel. Opening the lid is easy with one hand, exposing the thin bezels with an HD webcam and an IR sensor on top. The carbon base houses the keyboard, as well as two large speaker grills on the sides. Typing on it is great, as the key travel is good and the feedback is super clicky. The size of the touchpad is impressive as well, and it's further complemented by a smooth surface and accurate tracking. The port selection isn't amazing, but still pretty good for the thickness of XPS 15. On the right side, you get an USB Type-C 3.2 Generation 2 port, an audio jack, and full-sized SD card reader. Then, on the left, you get a two Thunderbolt 4 ports. We chose a configuration with a full HD IPS panel and a 16 by 10 aspect ratio. The viewing angles are excellent, and with a peak brightness of 564 nits, you can use the device even in direct sunlight. 60 Hertz is a bit disappointing for a high-end laptop today, but apart from that, the screen is pretty good. More importantly, it fully covers the sRGB gamut, while also covering 90% of the DCI-P3 gamut. You can further enhance the colors of the display using our design and gaming profile, which lowers the Delta-E value of the panel down to 1.4. Delta E is used to measure color accuracy, and any value below 2 is considered accurate. You can find our profiles linked down below. With a front firing setup, the XPS 15 should certainly deliver good audio, right? Well, yeah, as there are two more units on the bottom. This makes for a great sounding setup with deep bass and no significant deviations across the entire frequency range. All in all, it's perfect for videos and movies. For processors, you've got three Alder Lake H-Series chips to pick from. For graphics, there's the Intel ARC A370M. However, we advise you to go with NVIDIA and its 40 series, which is available as well. We tested a configuration with a Core i7-13700H and an RTX 4050. The processor does a good job, outperforming the Core i7-12700H from last year while being behind the Core i9-13900H in the popular ZenBook Pro 14 from ASUS. The GPU of the XPS 15 is running at just 45 watts, so you can't expect the best performance from it. We still think the RTX 4050 performs well, especially when compared to the 3050 and 3050 Ti from last year. The cooling setup of the XPS 15 offers two heat pipes and two fans. Stress testing the core on 7 was pretty easy, and the CPU did well, maintaining 85 watts for the first few seconds, dipping to 65 watts after 30 seconds. For longer periods of 10 minutes or more, the chip stays at its base 45 watts power limit. All in all, the laptop is impressive, albeit the temperatures on the CPU itself do get toasty. The graphics run a bit cooler, while the clock speeds are pretty high considering the 45 watts power limit. In terms of comfort, the laptop is quiet, however, the base gets very warm, approaching 50 degrees Celsius. On the other hand, the efficiency of the laptop is undisputed, as the 86 watt-hours unit lasts for 17 hours and 13 minutes of web browsing, or 16 hours and 26 minutes of video playback. The upgradability of the XPS 15 is great, with two SODIMM slots for up to 64 gigabytes of DDR5 memory and two M.2 PCIe slots for Generation 4 SSDs. You can check out the full teardown of the laptop in a video that's in the pop-up card up top or in the description below.
With powerful hardware and a sleek chassis, there are not a lot of negatives to say about the Dell XPS 15. The only cons that might stop you are the higher temperatures and the minimalist input-output. However, most of the time the laptop will remain cooler and calmer, as it's not every day you put your laptop through a tortuous stress test. Check out our full in-depth review on our website for benchmarks and more details. And let us know what you think about the XPS 15 in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe.